horses and for all of us. Yeah, not. Right. Yeah, 88 degrees. The new numbers came in today. The hottest day officially so far this uh, year. Oh. Toasty outside. So far. So far. So far. The year is very young when it yeah, comes to the high temperatures. Yeah. Let me show you what's going on out there right now. We take you to Bethlehem. You see all the shadowing from the sunshine. Nothing but sunshine. And many of you folks into our western zones had that high temperature up to 90 degrees, if not even a little bit greater than that. We look live over Philadelphia, blue skies. The air is not as hazy as it was yesterday, at least for Philadelphia. You go over to uh, South Jersey and you folks are dealing with that wildfire we talked about earlier. Big temperature spread, 87 right now in Philadelphia. Dover is only sitting at 75 degrees, and that is a direct influence off of the relatively cool air over, Do uh, uh, over Delaware Bay. Same thing with Wildwood, 72, direct influence of the cool air that's uh, over the ocean at this hour. So for the record, 88 was the high temperature officially today after I started 58, a solid 30 degree temperature spread between the low and the high. The low, close to our normal, the high, well above, but nowhere near the record, which has stood since 1895, our records go back to 1874, so that was almost uh, in the very beginning, 97 on this particular day. So the big picture, notice clouds and radar, you're pretty much seeing none of either. It is a dry day around the region, it, not just lack of rain, the air is dry as well, the dew points are low, humidity, that type of thing. And then there are some showers well to the north. Some of that may creep down here for tomorrow. So here's our future cast starting with tomorrow morning. Tonight's a clear sky out the door tomorrow. You want your sunglasses, no doubt about it. We get into the afternoon, and I'm leaving it on the bigger picture here because I want you to see how things are moving in from the north. This is a little bit more aggressive than the a prior model run, which was more aggressive than the run before that. So we may, at 11 o'clock tonight, I'm going to analyze them. I may need to up the chance for some showers tomorrow afternoon and evening around the area. If you get any of them, the movement will be generally from the north to the south, which is not the typical movement. If you're out and about and you're at your place and maybe you're firing up the grill or something and you look into the northern sky and you see a storm, most of the time you'd say, okay, well, that's off to the north. That is the direction that things are going to be moving tomorrow. And then we get into Saturday, and this weather system, kind of the heart of it, that's up here into the northeast, drives on down and drives cloud cover. And certainly Saturday morning, and for a good portion of the day, we'll have the clouds around with off and on showers. I do expect some of them to break up by the time we get to Saturday afternoon and evening, so it's not going to be a straight overcast day all day, but it definitely will be cooler. So we're jumping up. We are in the upper 80s today. We're going to still keep it around 81 degrees at 7 tonight. 72 by 9, go to 67 at 11 tonight. No weather related problems for you. Uh, it's just going to be toasty tomorrow. 91, be the first 90 degree day of the year. 30 year normals, by the way, first occurrence May 24th. So we're past that, obviously. 73 down the shore, you still have that cool air influence from the water. 93 for the Lehigh Valley. So it's going to be a toasty day, not lasting long. 75 on Saturday. We're going to go 72 degrees on your Sunday. Sunday's a relatively cool day, but dry. Next week, start out the first week of June. Temperatures in the 70s. Watching CBS News Philadelphia. We'll be right back.